Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. It's been a while. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has been a while. I haven't really posted any videos on the channel in the past three weeks, which really isn't fair to you guys, especially since you guys are the ones that have built up this channel and I didn't let you know what was going on. So here's just a quick explanation of where I've been and what I've been up to and also how I got here. I have been exploring and showing my girlfriend Quinn around my hometown of Cape Town for the past three months. This is Quinn. She's appeared in a few of my videos, but mostly in New York. You see, Quinn and I have been together for over a year now, living 8,000 miles apart. Fantastic, right? So good, so good. Yeah, it's just uh, amazing. Nevertheless, we've made it work and here we are conquering the world. Okay, not quite the world, but we're getting there. Originally, she was only meant to be here for six weeks, but after only two weeks of being here, she loved it so much and extended her stay for the maximum amount her visa allowed and ended up staying for three months. During that time, I tried to keep up with my YouTube channel as much as I could and I almost succeeded until the last three weeks. So I decided that instead of trying to share my life with YouTube and the internet, I'd rather live in the moment, live my life to the fullest and make the memories count. Because at the end of it all, they don't last forever, especially in these circumstances. I put my camera down, for the most part, I still got some sneaky shots here and there, and lived my life. It was great, amazing. We did all of the things. From the last time you saw us, we were in the aquarium chasing turtles and wondering what it would be like to live life as a Nemo, or a Nemo on a turtle. First you were all like, whoa, and then we were all like, whoa, and then you were like, whoa. Started. Since then, we hiked up Devil's Peak. We drove to Greece, got a few lame couple shots, and almost got hit by a wave, but I managed to sneak away with my quick ninja skills. Soon after, I received a phone call from Mr. Dan Mace asking if I could help with his latest video. Of course I said, yeah, bro, and headed out to shoot. We hopped on a helicopter, flew over some snow-capped mountains, did some flips, and almost died. Not really, but it felt like we were going to for a second. The flight was filled with beauty and eventually we ended up in Tankwa National Park, the home base of Africa Burn. We filmed through the night, dancing on all the sculptures and setting off fireworks in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by the most surreal sky I've ever seen. Like seriously, look at this. Wow. Wow. We then, had a we then had a freezing night dipping into the negatives and woke up for sunrise the next day. Shot some bubbles, some sparklers and ended off the trip with driving around the desert in an awesome art car. If you want, check out Dan's channel to see what we ended up creating. I made it back to Cape Town and unfortunately had to head back to university for class. But it wasn't all bad news, the project ended up being pretty cool. Quinn and I headed out and started doodling on the beach where we created a large scale art piece that commented on permanence and perspective. Phew. So many things, I just need a sip of water quick. Back into it. We ventured out to Yonkersuk to complete one of the most beautiful hikes I've ever done. There were waterfalls and valleys and ah, oh, so much goodness. We eventually made it to the top and it felt only right to get the shot. The hikes weren't done yet and we had to complete the most touristy thing in Cape Town, get to the top of Table Mountain. We weren't going to take a cable car though, that was a cheating lame way, lazy excuse to get up, so we hiked this as well. It was a tough one but we made it and we stayed at the top to enjoy a spectacular sunset with a view of Cape Town. Up next we went to check out some art, walk around the waterfront and finally after many adventures we found ourselves at the bottom of Africa. <laughs> It was all ripped away in an instant. Feeling like it never happened. Feeling like I had a dream. Maybe it was too good. I don't know. But it was just gone. I guess what I'm trying to say is enjoy the moments while they last. Live in the moment and don't get caught up by social media or technology. Get out there and enjoy the best moments of your life with the people you love. And don't take it for granted because at the end of it all, it can be ripped away at any second. It's a pretty sad ending, I know. And now Quinn is officially on the other side of the world again, back in New York. She arrived back safely, for those of you wondering. But sucks 
that she's all the way there on the other side of the world and I'm all the way down here at the bottom of Africa, but what are you gonna do? Anyway, I know this was kind of like a sad ending to the film, but I think it had a really important meaning of living in the moment. Um, and that's what I've been doing for the past three weeks. I haven't been focusing on social media and making videos. I've been taking every moment to spend time with my girlfriend and live life to the fullest and explore my hometown in Cape Town and share that with somebody else. So I encourage you guys to get out there and do the same thing. Go out with your loved ones, your family, your friends, and go explore your cities. Live life to the fullest and just do what makes you happy. In saying that though, Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys like this video. I am back. I am back, baby. Back on YouTube. That was so... I don't know why I did that, but I'm going to keep talking because uh, here we are. Um, anyway, <laughs> if you like the video, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe because I'm going to be posting videos regularly again now that I have some time to do it and we are not exploring the whole of South Africa. Anyway, in the meantime, remember to stay weird, don't die, and make it happen. I'll see you guys in the next one.